How are we doing today, guys? Thank you once again for joining me on Viper 9 Toy Videos. Today, I have the Acid Rain Last Line of Defense Jesse. I think that's a Seve company, G2 agent. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'm not even going to lie. Let's just go Seve. Uh, I think that's NAUS4, now it's 4. Looks like it's a shattered picture of America or something like that. Has a... The Florida there that you can see. This one here is by Toys Alliance. Their Fab Figure and Vehicle Series. On the back of the box it has the, a brief little, you know, sh picture of what's included. Uh, everything, the weathered, detailed. Let's go ahead and get this young, this young lady out of the box so we can go ahead and take a look at this figure. Get this tape cut. Pop that open. Now, I have been, I think I've mentioned this before, collecting Acid Rain for quite a while, ever since their first series, well before they started putting them in these nifty little boxes. Used to, you know, get the cardboard, everything like that. Really been digging some of the newer Acid Rain designs. Unfortunately, I don't buy it nearly as much as I used to, uh, mainly, mainly because of pricing here lately. That, and when um, Oratoy got in company with uh what is it the toys alliance they started producing figures a lot faster than what they had originally when it was just Aura toy manufacturing them you were lucky to get maybe one or two vehicles a year and then five or six figures to go with that throughout the year so as soon as they teamed up and i mean you're you're getting new figures every couple months now quite a bit of vehicles and accessories throughout the year so it's really really picked up a lot since they first started so here is the jesse figure from the acid rain line she does have uh, a single ball joint neck but then she also does have the lower ball joint neck on that so it kind of acts as a double ball joint she has the loose fabric coat uh ball jointed and butterfly shoulders on that double jointed elbows with wrist rockers looks like she has a vertical wrist rocker and a horizontal wrist rocker on that she does have the chest pivot and the rocking hips on that let's go ahead and take a look at this belt that she has so i think that's supposed to be the rear yeah so that's the back of the belt she does have <laughs> these these um hip swivels i've been finding kind of interesting uh the first video that i did on one of these figures i didn't realize that the holsters were actually two separate pieces so you have the the thigh swivel here and the holster is actually a completely separate piece so you see you can see the turn the lower leg from it and then you can also turn it on the upper leg that way you can com position those holsters a little bit better so they don't interfere with the larger belt so she does come with a pistol for that holster a pistol for this holster ah pistol for that holster and then you can go ahead and swivel that kind of forward a little bit get it more on the thigh you can get her big knife in that holster there and then she does also come with spots on her belt for her grenades. I'm going to say these look like flashbangs or smoke grenades, but they could be incineraries or something like that as well. Go ahead and get them on there. One thing that I've always been super happy with is a lot of the accessories that come with Astrid Rain figures. They just always look super nice, super detailed, lots of loadout. Oh, maybe I'm going to get the second grenade on her belt. Oh, there we go. Okay, so got that second grenade on her belt. Kind of, almost. <laughs> uh, so we did take a look at the hips. She does have double jointed knees. Whether or not they want to want to move that well. There we go. Double jointed knees. And then she does also have rocker ankles. So ankle swivel as well as the rocker ankles. So that's that's quite detailed on that. I do enjoy kind of the sneaker look that she has. 
Acid Rain is a, is a nice little post-apocalyptic line. So the fact that they've done one in a bikini top with a jacket and sneakers, I find really kind of unique. It's an interesting armor design, especially where you can pop this head off. Oh, let me, let me rephrase that. Pop that head off and get this armored helmet in place. Go ahead and try to get that neck back where it's supposed to be. And see if we can't get that that helmet to snap on. Oh, that is super tight. That's not want to not want to go on at all. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I did not notice that in the picture. So it actually has a nice little spot right there on the forehead that's left open. So you can see where it kind of mimics her hair, red hair there a little bit. So I guess you could call that a target. I know that sounds pretty bad, but Acid Rain is a war-torn story. Oh, and the, the little earpieces were on ball joints. That's kind of interesting. So overall, there is the Jesse figure from Acid Rain. Uh, it has the NAUS there on her back. Oops. Yep, there you go. NAUS there on her back. I'm I'm really, really digging this figure. Not sure if I'm going to have her with the, the helmet or not. Oh, maybe she's going to be stuck with the helmet for a little bit. Yeah, I think she's going to be stuck with the helmet for a little bit. I might have to go ahead and take that off off screen. Go ahead and get that swapped out. A little bit of heat. But overall, I'm super satisfied with this figure. I'm just going to start uh, probably cherry picking off this line here. Opposed to, to being all in like I used to. But sometimes it's for the best. Oh, I didn't go over her little machine gun. So there is a nice little cut down. It looks like a cut down of the larger rifle that come out with the uh, Marine. Not the Marine. Soul Commander. So many years ago. So this is looks like just a more tactical version of the Soul Commander's rifle. <laughs> Go ahead and get that worked into her hand. Awesome. I dig it. Overall, I'm super satisfied with this figure. And right there, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you for watching.